Hello students. Today we are going to do the second chapter of computer that is GUI operating system desktop management. So exploring the windows operating system. What is an operating system? It is a, it is a software program which acts as an interference interface between the user and the computer. We give instructions to the computer by using the operating system like Windows, Linux, Mac OS and Apple iOS are the names of some popular operating system. So these are the names of the operating system. Okay, Windows is an operating system developed by the software company Microsoft Corp uh, Corporation. The first versions of Windows was Windows 1.0 introduced in 1985. After, there, after that, there have been many versions of Windows, each version having, having some new features. So each version ha uh, having new features, okay, which let us work better and faster. So next, booting. Booting. What is booting? When the computer is switched on, the Windows operating system automatically gets loaded into the computer. You have seen when you switch on your computer. So this loaded into the computer memory, this process is called booting. The computer is ready to do work and when the booting process is completed. So when you switch on the computer, the Windows operating system automatically gets loaded and this process is called booting. Next, desktop. The desktop, what is the desktop? It is the operating screen in Windows. It is the working space on a computer. The desktop has many important icons such as recycle bin, computer icon, internet explorer. So you have seen in your desktop there are small, small, small icons. These are, these are the um, important icons on the desktop. Graphical user interference. The Windows operating system has a graphical user interference that is GUI, GUI. This means you can give commands to the computer by clicking on the icons, buttons and menus without having to memorize difficult commands. This makes Windows a user-friendly operating system. So icons. In a graphical user interference, programs are represented by small pictures called icons. Commands are given to the computer by clicking on these pictures. If you want to go to that icon, you click on that pictures. When you click on an icon, it gets selected. Double clicking an icon runs the program. So if you want to click on these, if you want to click you click once to see the pictures and if you want to, if you double click, then the icons runs the program. Now, next, selecting icons. First, you selecting adjacent icons. Keeping the shift key pressed, click the icons you wish to select. You uh, keeping the, you keep the shift key pressed, okay? Then, Click the icons you wish to select. Selecting non-adjacent icons. Keeping the CTRL key pressed, click the icons. They will get selected. To remove the selection key, selection, click on an empty space. If you want to remove, then you uh, click on an empty space. Arranging the icons. To arrange the icons on the desktop, right click on an empty area, click sort by option and then select the sorting option you want. So right click, there is a sort, there, then you click the sort by option and then select the sorting op, uh, option you want if you want to arrange the icons. Wallpaper, you have seen what is the picture on the desktop is called wallpaper. Screen saver. When you leave your computer on for some time without working on it, you will see some animated images appearing on this screen. This is called a screen saver. Now, next, taskbar. 
The taskbar is a thin strip that runs across the bottom of your computer screen. The taskbar has three main sections. The start button which opens the start menu, middle section with the quick launch icons. These icons shows you which program and files you have opened and lets you quickly switch between them. The notification area or system tree are which includes a clock, calendar and icons that communicate the status of certain programs and computer settings. So, the taskbar also shows icons of windows which have been minimized by using the minimize button. You can restore a minimize window by clicking the icons on the taskbar. An open window will have its icon highlighted in the taskbar. In this way, you can work with multiple files or program. So students, we will do till taskbar. In the next class, we will continue.